Okay, this video is going to be about the diatomic gases. We're going to talk about what they are, and then we're going to talk about what they would look like if we could actually zoom in and see the atoms and molecules that make stuff up. Okay, so there are about 100 elements on the periodic table. And of those 100 elements, seven of them are the diatomic elements. These are the diatomic elements here, and at the end of the video, I'll teach you some memory tricks so that you can, uh, you can remember which of the elements are diatomic. But anyway, what makes the diatomic elements special is that we never find a single atom, just one atom, of any of these guys on its own. Okay, So you never find just an oxygen atom hanging out, or a nitrogen atom, or an iodine atom. Instead, these atoms always pair up. You always find two of them together, connected together, forming a molecule. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to draw some diagrams, and I'm going to put this thing up here, abbreviations of all of the different di diatomic elements, just so you can remember which elements are diatomic and which aren't. Okay, so let's take two things that have gas in them. Here is a tank of oxygen gas. I stole this from my grandmother's nursing home. I was like, hey, Grandma, can I borrow your oxygen tank for a minute? And then I went to a kid's birthday party, and I stole a helium balloon from the clown. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I want to put on my superhero glasses that allow me to not only look through the shell of this tank, but let me zoom in trillions and trillions of times and actually see the atoms that make up this oxygen gas. Here is what I'm going to see. Here's my enlarged view. Now remember that oxygen gas is one of, there's an O up here. This is one of the diatomic elements. So this is what I'm going to see. I'm going to see that the oxygen gas is made up of oxygen atoms. You know, that's not a big deal. But I'm going to see that all of the oxygen atoms in the gas are connected to each other in pairs, just like this. They're connected in pairs forming molecules. On the other hand, let's look at helium. Helium is not one of the diatomic elements. And so if I put on my superhero magnifying glasses and look at the helium balloon, I'll also see atoms that make up the helium. But here, HE, HE. These atoms are individual. They're on their own because helium is not a diatomic gas. 